try YouTube. So what we're gonna be doing today, this is my exhaust tip. I just pulled it off my truck. And you can see over time, the uh, black is starting to come off of the uh, exhaust tip. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be addressing the uh, color to this. And we're actually gonna be uh, spray painting it with some adhesive just to get it to that black color again because you can see the color starting to fade uh, over time you know wear and tear with the heat coming through so I'm gonna start sanding this down getting it down to um, a nice rough uh, finish so that way uh, the paint can actually uh, set on it and then after we do that we are gonna be baking it putting it inside the oven and uh, heating it up that way it dries uh, evenly so let's get started all right guys so here we go I just cleaned it up the best I could hit it with the uh, some 80 and then uh, 220 sandpaper so we got it hung right now now we're getting ready to uh, spray paint it all right so let's start spray painting all right so here we go so you guys this is what I'm using right here I'm using VHT flame proof this is for your headers uh, basically your exhaust and stuff like that so this is what we're going with right here this is the black so we're gonna try this out and then uh, we'll see the finished product after we bake it in the oven let me turn this fan off All right, so we're just gonna keep spray painting it and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we've got the oven set for uh, 170. We're gonna let this uh, bake for about 30 minutes. There we go, so we're gonna let it sit in there. We're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. This is just a regular oven you got at your house. So uh, we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes and then uh, we'll grab it once it's... All right, so we got one minute left. All right, so 10 seconds left. Timer's gonna go off and then we're gonna open it up. All right. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, so there we go, yo. Right there. Brand new second hand. <laughs> All right, let's get it out of there. Now be careful because it is gonna be hot. All right, guys, here we go. So this is the finished product right here. So it actually came out pretty good. It looks brand new secondhand. So I could have just bought another one, but I mean, what's the point? This one's still good. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna get it installed. All right, and there is the uh, finished product right there. This is just a bolt on, so went ahead and bolted it back on. But there we go. So now it looks a lot better. It looks like the day I first bought it. Now I could have used the shine on it, but I don't want to put no gloss on it or anything like that. So uh, there we go again. It's looking better. And I've been working on my kids' uh, go-kart here so uh gotta get that going but um yeah there we go guys final product there you go two of you so that's day 27 on my 30 day youtube challenge all right so that's something i've had been wanting to do for a while i've noticed over time wear and tear you know driving the truck every day i'm aware that that uh the uh, exhaust tip it's gonna fade out and stuff like that uh, could have went out and bought a new one but I am looking at a uh, different um, 
exhaust. I'm looking at the Borla Attack, and I'm looking at a few other ones. But um, nonetheless, it's just something I wanted to take care of, man, real quick. It was a quick little fix, quick little DIY. But um, yeah, so day 27 on my 30-day YouTube challenge. Uh, it's almost over, so don't forget, I'm going to be calling somebody out. So uh, you guys better be ready. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification and smash that like button, man. It really helps out the channel. Until tomorrow, it's your boy Coyote Mike.